Hello everyone. So we have a fun one today. So I'm a huge fan of Lee Zi Chi's channel. Uh, and if you are too, you'll definitely recognize what's in this box. Uh, if you're not, or if you haven't seen any of her videos, highly recommend you check out her channel. I'll put a card up here. So let's get this opened up. So this is from her website. It is a... Chinese traditional hand-forged kitchen knife. And so in her videos, you'll see her use this for literally everything. Anything from shoveling dirt to chopping wood to breaking down a side of lamb, and of course, finally chopping vegetables. So my sister-in-law and her husband were kind enough to give this to me as a gift. So I figured I would put it to the test and see if it truly is good for everything. So tonight I'm gonna start with testing it out in the kitchen with some dinner prep. Over the weekend, I'm gonna do some garden work with it and then back to the kitchen to see if it's retained its edge well enough uh, to still do some prep work. So if you look, it's not the straightest edge. See, there's a little twisting in the blade, but I mean, it is pretty rustic. Uh, definitely need to give this a, a thorough washing before I cut any food with it. And the edge is pretty sharp for a cleaver. All right, let's get to it. I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, let's chop up some vegetables here. So first thing you'll notice is it is very blade heavy, the balance of this knife, uh, which means it's great for chopping big heavy items, breaking down a chicken, things like that, but not probably not great for speed or vegetables, you'll, you'll get pretty fatigued doing this. So I think instead of my wrist, I'm gonna, you know, I'll play around, let's see. So first up, cucumber. Very heavy. Made quick work of the cucumber. But as you can hear from the chopping, it's it's heavy. Right? It goes through it like nothing. Definitely a bit of overkill for softer vegetables like that. Let's try these carrots here. Definitely a bit of overkill for vegetables. It is very heavy. Um, not the most comfortable holding it in a pinch grip. So I'm gonna try holding it in a pistol grip. Got some pretty rough edges there. Definitely gets the job done, um, but definitely not the knife that I would grab to do this sort of work. This is the knife I would grab to break down a large cut of meat, something like that. Let's try these peppers. Try a pinch grip a little higher up. See, it's really just mashing the, the pepper, not really cutting all the way through. Decent edge for something this size, but definitely not the right tool for the job doing things like this. It's not so much an issue of the sharpness, the, the edge is pretty sharp, it's just how thick this knife is. It's just a very big stock. So no matter how sharp you get the edge, just with the amount of meat that's behind it, um, it's gonna end up mashing a lot of things <clears throat> rather than slicing through evenly. See how 
it slices. I'll try slicing through the peppers here. I mean, gets the job done, but definitely not the first tool I would pick for this type of work. But let's see if it makes it up for it with versatility uh, when, I, when I take it out to the garden and uh, abuse it a little bit out there tomorrow. All right, just for comparison's sake, using a knife that's actually designed to do this type of work, let's see the difference. That's the right tool for the job. Yeah. This is the knife I would pick for work like this. Of course, I would never try to cut a tree branch or dig in the dirt with this, uh, which is what I'm gonna do with that tomorrow. Held up pretty well. All right, there's no, there's no real rolling. My nail's not getting caught up on anything. There's, you know, a little bit of a shiny spot here, but I actually really like it for uh, garden use or camp use. It'd be a great camp knife in place of a full-size machete. It's got more heft to it. It's got a thicker spine than a typical machete, nice and short. So for, for kind of work like this, this is great. It was great for batoning. All right, I think I found its use for it. I don't know, I'm gonna keep, uh, keep doing some of this uh, yard work here and uh, 
I do, I do really enjoy it for this much more than I enjoyed it while chopping vegetables. Handles actually pretty comfortable holding it like this and, and hacking away. It was not comfortable as I mentioned in the pinch grip. So definitely put it to good use out here. So I decided to not even bring it back to the kitchen to retest because I can't imagine chopping at wood would have improved how it performed in the kitchen. Uh, I mean, it's, it's built solidly, held the edge very well, even doing what I was doing to it outside. Um, so I know this would be great for breaking down a chicken or, or any sort of large cuts of meat. Uh, for me, just not what I would use for, for chopping vegetables or, or daily um, dinner prep. Uh, I'm used to using thin, lightweight Japanese knives. This is the exact opposite. Uh, super heavy, super thick. Um, so it's probably some user error or technique as well. I'm sure some people can uh, use a tool like this very well for, for chopping vegetables. I prefer a different set of tools for that. Um, but as you saw outside, it worked very well. I did really enjoy using this in the garden and that's what I'm gonna continue to use it for in place of a, of a machete or a small hatchet. Uh, it's great for jobs like that. So I will continue doing that. And I gotta say, I really do just like the way it looks, kind of this rustic, straight out of the forge uh, type of look. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with the the, the quality of it, meaning the uh, edge retention uh, and the abuse I put through it, basically not a mark on it. Um, so again, fun little piece to have. Wouldn't say it's the most versatile tool uh, in my drawer, but uh, for, I think it was under $50. Uh, if you like the way it looks, if you're Leeds the Chief fan, say go for it. Uh, if you have any questions on this, feel free to drop it in the comments below, or if you have one or, or know how to use this better uh, in the kitchen, love to hear your thoughts as well. Thanks for watching.